Yes, good morning children. So today we have got the topic drafting posters. We have already done this, but today we'll be revising it right from the scratches. So first, when we draft a poster, first we have to outline the page. Okay, don't make a very small box. Outline the whole page and inside you write in proper font so that the whole page is covered, okay? And uh, after outlining the page, on the very top, you'll get the title or subject of the poster. Okay, whatever the poster is about, you'll give it a suitable title uh, or a heading. It can be a catchy and interesting or captivating title so that the poster becomes more, uh, you know, uh, eye-catching. It should become attractive because of the title rules. Then subtitle. Uh, subtitle means that you can give a slogan, you can give a caption or some punchline to support the title, okay? So first title, then subtitle. Subtitle can be in the form of a slogan or a caption. It will be followed by uh, the information on topic. So remember children, when we are uh, drafting a poster, doesn't mean that we don't, uh, that our, uh, we don't, we have less, uh, you know, we have, we don't, we can't give more information. We can't give more complete information. Uh, what we, what we can write in an article in about 150 words, same we can draft in a poster in about 50 words. Okay, so the point is like what we write in an article in about 150 to 200 words, the same matter we can squeeze up in the form of points uh, in this poster. Is that clear? So complete article, complete write-up of even 500 words or even 1000 words can be squeezed up or can be contracted in a poster in about 50 words. Because here you'll be writing only the main points, that is the uh, value points. Right. So how to give information on the given topic of poster? Uh, there can be various formats uh, in, in any form which you think would be suitable. You can give like the complete information. If intro part of the article is to be put in the poster, uh, then intro part can be like, uh, did you know? Something like this, you can say like, uh, did you know? So under this, you know, bubble, you can give information on, did you know, in the form of points. Then afterwards, uh, you may want to tell like, what are the consequences uh, or what should be done. So do's and don'ts can be there, okay? Uh, don't do this because man should give the points. Do it, then mention do's. So in whatever the form you think your uh, uh, topic of the poster, you know, requires, you put the information accordingly. But remember, like uh, whatever information, it should not be in the form of lines, complete lines or complete paragraphs. So one big no, no for a poster is something which is not to be done. No paragraph. No paragraphs here. No sentences here. Is this clear? Don't draft poster with big paragraphs or with, you know, uh, long sentences. Children do this. Many children do this, but don't do this. Okay, no long paragraphs, no long sentences in the poster. But then what is to be written? What is to be done? Phrases you can write. Okay, captions you can write. Slogans you can write, but not long sentences. The long sentences, uh, they, don't, they mar the beauty of a poster. So what you need to write in the form of a slogan or punchline or a phrase, don't do this in, that in the form of a sentence. So give information, whatever you want to give in any format, okay? And whatever information you give, that should be supported by some uh, suitable visuals. That is, you can draw something which you think you can. Okay, suppose you are saying the save tree, uh, save earth, Save earth, you can draw uh, some trees, you can draw the droplets of water because you can save earth, whatever the various means you are talking about. If you can draw some suitable visual, some related visual, very good. If you cannot draw, if you think you are very poor in art and craft, art, then you may do without, you know, uh, drawing anything, but you have to put emphasis upon your write-ups. Okay, because if you are writing it for your English exam, then you are given marks for your language, for the presentation, not just for your art. Without art, you can draft an equally good poster 
as the child with an art can do. Is that clear? The focus should be upon the language. The focus should be upon the upon your presentation. How your poster looks like. Does it look appealing? Does it look very dull? That matters the most. Okay. Sometimes you write very good caption. Sometimes the slogan happens to be very good one. But the way you write it, that will also matter. Okay. So at least you improve. Uh, so do something with your way of writing. So finally, when your information has all been given in the poster, uh, finally, uh, in the end, last line, you are to write the issued issued by. Like who is issuing this poster? Who is the governing body of this poster? So issued by it can be some club, organization, or institute, or some department, right? So it can be it cannot be just one person, right? It can be some organization or a club or some designation, okay? So that is how a poster is to be drafted. So format wise, so main focus should be upon the information, but each and everything matters. Title matters, okay. Subtitle matters, issuing authority matters. Then, of course, the information matters. Information can be given in the form of facts and figures also, right? Some data, if you have that, you can give. These are the overall impact of the poster should be like it should be complete information wise. And yes, if you are giving a, a drafting a poster on some event, then uh, related to event the for event. Like when it is date, time, and venue of the events, they must be very clearly mentioned. Suppose you are going to talk about like a, a vaccine, COVID vaccination is going to be held somewhere, then mention like when will it be, what time, and what's the venue. If you miss any of these details, you know your poster will become a zero. It won't have any value if anything is missing. Okay, if venue is not there, even then it will be of no use. If time is not mentioned, even then it will be of zero relevance and date is most important. Okay, for event based uh, posters would take date time value. And otherwise, if they are social, if they are meant for social awareness, then uh, you can have the information in the form of don'ts, uh, do's and don'ts or facts and figures. So anything which you think is required for your poster. Drafting a poster is just not about uh, drawings and writing one caption, that's it. No, drafting a poster requires having full information on some topic uh, from the facts wise, figures wise, or some consequences, effects, suggestions. Point is like what you can write in a full article, in some in full letter, the whole content can come in poster, but in the form of points, but in the form of phrases, okay? Value points should be there. So try to, uh, you can say, uh, put your whole poster in about 50 words, not more than that. Okay, so word limit matters in the poster. Is that clear? Okay, so to support the posters, I'm going to show you some posters from the from some site. Let's see this. So yes, here are some examples. Uh, yes, posters recreate the basic moods and all. Okay, yeah. Here is the first example. Prepare a poster to be put and put in the school entrance lobby, announcing the annual athletic meet of your school. Got it? So it's about the. Prepare a poster to be put in the school entrance lobby announcing the athletic meet of your school. So it can be the annual function, athletic meet, school page, whatever. So see how it is going to be. So Vidya Niketan is the name of the school. Welcomes you to the annual athletic meet. Chief guest this. The meet begins sharp at 9 a.m. Wrestling champion will arrive at 8.55 a.m. The program this. So remember, what's the difference between a poster and a invitations are also there. So this is somewhat similar to, uh, you know, invitation, but here it is welcomes you. It's not invitation to. 
See the next one. Prepare a poster on behalf of the municipal authority of your city informing the citizens about how to protect themselves against mosquitoes. So mosquitoes cause malaria, dengue, and chikungunya. So point is like how to, it's a poster on, poster on information to the citizens about how to protect themselves against mosquitoes. So title is fight the mosquitoes. Okay, then uh, like uh, why, why, why fight against mosquitoes? Because of the, these two reasons are there. They cause malaria and all. Don't allow mosquitoes to breed in your house. Yes, you could explain the points, like why to fight mosquitoes. So this is don't. Don't allow water to collect in this. Allow garbage. Don't allow garbage to accumulate in the streets and parks. What are the do's? Sprays this. Spray insecticides. Open windows when the municipal vans come for fogging. Wear full sleeve clothes and trousers. So otherwise, whatever the things you people know you can put, in the end, it should buy. So here some subtitle is missing that you can provide. Okay, uh, the information is not like here two points are written. Mosquitoes cause this and don't allow mosquitoes to breed in your house. So these two points are mixed up. You can write something like here you could have given uh, information on like why to fight mosquitoes. Why, how mosquitoes are harmful. They can do cause these problems, you know, or whatever. So then what are the don'ts and what are the do's? So there could be one more information like what to do if you if somebody gets some problem. Then prepare a poster on behalf of an NGO to be placed in various parts of the city, urging the people to save trees. So here is a poster on uh, safe trees. Okay, the title the writer has given over here, trees need help. It's okay. Okay, instead of just saying save trees, you could, you know, uh, manipulate the title to make it more in captivating or interesting one. So trees need help. So on the side, they have made a tree and they have given the tree also title, hug a tree. And the tree has also been hugged. So you can uh, do something, hug a tree and survive, plant more and survive. Hug a tree and survive, plant more trees. So what are the uh, value points you've written? Trees are our best friends. All parts of trees are useful to us. Don't cut trees. Uh, they keep environment. So you can give information on trees, like uh, what trees do for us, how to protect trees, how to save trees. You can all give various data. Uh, you people have read the chapter, Ailing Planet. In the Ailing Planet, whatever the complete information is given to, uh, you know, save the planet or to save the trees, that uh, you know information you can give over here especially when it it was all about afforestation or deforestation they were talking about like how many trees are cut down in a in a year how much of hectares of land is uh, you know uh, cut down in one second those kinds of data you can give here in the form of points okay so this these examples are only you know uh, the way you have to see like the posters are to be written but they are not perfect doesn't mean that they are perfect there are only, you know, a few samples. That's it. You people, when you would draft the posters, you would do them 100, 100 times better than what these things are. So here it is upon water is save water. Title is water precious. Water is life. Save water and, and you thrive. How to save water. So the points are written, like how to save water. So it should buy this. So here, what is like missing? On the very top, the suitable title would have been there. So the font, like water is precious, save water. Save water title is missing. It's not like clearly mentioned. The title should be there. Is that clear? Stop leakage. So this is okay. Now here it is. Prepare a poster on behalf of the police advising people to protect themselves against burglars and robbers. So it is a poster on uh, advising people to protect themselves against burglars and robbers. So see any kind of uh, topic can be for poster. It can be on social awareness. It can be public awareness. Okay, it can be some event based uh, poster also the way we read out about, about uh, school annual uh, athletic meet. So keep robbers and burglars away. That's a title. 
don't carry uh, so here subtitle could also have been there okay that is not there do not carry large amount of cash don't carry or don't keep large amount of cash at home don't show off your wealth and expensive possessions register the domestic help with your local police station who is a domestic help the one who we keep at home okay the domestic servants among register the domestic help with your local police station be aware of strangers and newcomers in your locality employ security guards from a reliable agency so commissioner or pol of police abc city so issued by commissioner of police so this was a, this is a good topic but here the information could have been more okay subtitle is missing and here do's and don'ts could have been there okay some data could also have been there like what has already happened somewhere so the police also you know issues these kinds of you know posters only when something has happened so you can also give some information like what has already happened somewhere okay okay so these many posters we have done they are enough for the day and uh, now we can do something else okay now okay i can ask you people to uh, 